Lima. Powerful kick to begin this one, and it's going to go all the way deep in the end zone where it is going to be brought out here on the far side. But getting down the field and making a stop for the Cardinals there was Jermaine Earl, and a great stop there by the Cardinals on that opening kick. Far side, one receiver here to the near side. Cruz, three-step drop, looking across the middle. Pass is intercepted. Cardinals have it, and they will have it inside the three-yard line. Making the interception on that was the Buckeye Trail alum, Jack Perry. It's going to be Dason Horse. Davis, back to pass. Fade round toward the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Trey Holloway hauling that one in. And the Cardinals are on the board. So one offensive play, one touchdown for the Cardinals. What a touch there by Davis just in the pocket, standing there, just floated the ball. Cruz going with the hard count, going to stay in the pocket, looking across the middle. The pass is complete to fame, and he will have the first down to the 49-yard line. What a pass by Cruz there, Jeff, to be able to thread the needle and hit fame. With the Cardinals leading 7-0, Cruz going to take a three-step drop this time. He has to tuck it and run, and Cruz with a lot of room here on the right side, and he is going to be forced out of bounds, but not after picking up. A Seton Hill first down. We talked that we thought we were going to see Kofi Kwa, but Jake Cruz just as dangerous with his feet there, Jeff. Yeah, Cruz making a good decision there, seeing the pressure coming. Flushes. One receiver here to the near side. McGriff, the running back. Cruz having to roll out to his left, has a lot of room, tries to cut back, and he is going to be stopped short of the sticks. But great coverage there by the Cardinals, especially, especially McMillian, who was just able to stay with his man that entire time. Here's the snap, the kick for the field goal. Splits the uprights and good. 10.08 to go here in the first quarter. It is 7-3 in favor of Wheeling. It was Luke Hogger, and on that... Once again, 7-3 in favor. Going to move to the left here of Davis. Pressure coming from that far side as the ball pops out. And it looks like Seton Hill might have come back on top of it. And they did. So when the Cardinals, the Cardinals had a turnover deep in Seton Hill territory, now the Griffins get it back the other way on an Elijah Young fumble. Trips here to the near side. One receiver over to the far side. Cruz back to pass. Pressure coming. He's going to have to tuck it and run. Has some room and will be brought down inside the 10-yard line. Brings up first down and goal. Gap. Fame goes in motion. It's going to be a design QB keeper by Cruz. who's going to get into the end zone for the Seton Hill touchdown. As Johnson laying the boom there at the end. But Cruz hurting him with his feet. And it is now a 9-7 lead for Seton Hill on the six-yard touchdown run by Cruz. Here for the Cardinals. Handoff. Check that. It's going to be a keeper play by Davis who tried to put his shoulder down. But no gain on the play. And that's going to bring up fourth down for the Cardinals as they tried that RPO right there. But Davis just not able in motion here for Seton Hill. Twins here to the near side. Handoff goes to Craggett who did a little bit too much dancing on that one. Able to gain about four yards. Ball bring up fourth down and long. Over to the left now of Davis. Davis three-step drop. Hits Fullerton out of the backfield. But it wasn't a clean pass. And he is going to have a loss of four on that one as Fullerton caught it at about the 32, 33 yard line. But I tell you what, if Davis was able just to put in as Fullerton moves to the right of Davis, Davis, three step drop. Here comes that pressure I was talking about. Davis rolling out to his right, has a man open, and the pass is caught. Jermon Ford with the reception into Seton Hill territory to the 29 yard line. What patience there by Davis. Trey Holloway lined up here on the near side. Pass is complete to Mitchell. But it looks like the his knee may have hit the ground first on that one. Here's the snap. Here's the handoff to Fullerton. Gets it to the outside, but not able to get by the, the uh, tackler on that one. It was Ben Weaver starting defensive tax. Fullerton going to move to his right. Davis, three-step drop, but the pressure was just too much once again. The Seton Hill defense just penetrating that offensive line, making the initial contact there was Josh Cohen on the stop there out of Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. 
Thomas lining up in the middle of that trips formation. Cruz with the pressure coming. He had to throw it at the feet of his running back to avoid the sack there. And it was Jack Parry applying the pressure there for uh, Wagner. In punt formation from the 10-yard line. Here comes the pressure from the Cardinals, and that's going to bring out a flag as Fullerton's going to receive it at the 35-yard line. will be spun down at the 30 by Wagner. Cruz, three-step drop. Originally looked for Bales here on the right side, but he's going to have to tuck it and run, and Dalton Hoover will trip him up on that one. But another great run there by Cruz to get some of the penalty yards back in of Cruz. Looking across the middle, and it hits off of Battle once again. That's the second time that Cruz has tried to hit Battle with that quick pass across the middle, but it's bounced off his chest. And makes a play out of it. Here's the handoff to Young up the middle. Seton Hill wasn't expecting it, and that'll be a first down for the Cardinals, and that is where Elijah Young can burn you almost all the time. Right here of Davis. Davis on the option. Pitches it out to Young, but he is going to be upended on the play. Making the initial stop there for Seton Hill was Musa Toma and also Josh Cohen. Stepping back, Cardinals going to rush four on this one. Cruz has to step up and run. He has the first down as he slides to the 45. So once again, just using the aggressiveness there of the Cardinals. It's here on the near side. Pressure coming from the Cardinals as they're going to blitz the entire line there. And it will be brought over midfield there by Craggett. He'll be brought down right at midfield. He'll bring up third down and manageable. Three-step drop. Looking over to the far side to Craggett. The ball is dropped. The whistle hasn't blown. And it is picked up on the play. And returned for a Cardinals touchdown. We had one whistle that blew, though. We have one official signaling touchdown. But I think we had the whistle blow here by Patrick Orman. I mean, that was the thing. The ball was thrown from about the 47. The pass was incomplete. I don't know about that one. It looked like the pass was thrown from the 47. More Side receiver over there with Mitchell and Dason Horse. Fullerton, though, on the carry. He gets knocked backwards initially. Bits a huge block. And Fullerton off to the left side. And he will have the Cardinals first down. And making a huge block down there was Justin Nelson. The redshirt junior out of Woodbridge, Woodbridge, Virginia, laying the boom on that block. Davis going to hand it off to Fullerton, who gets a burst of speed, but his burst of speed runs right into number 48, Richie McCormick, and the super sophomore out of Tucson, Arizona. Moving off to the right here. Davis, three-step drop, has some time, but the pressure's coming. Tries to flip it up over and gets the pass complete to Eli Young, who has the first down. Dangerous pass there by Javon Davis, but Young coming down with it out of the backfield and gives the Cardinals a first down at their own to the near side. Seton Hill bringing the pressure once again. Young tries to go to the outside, but he is going to be upended on the play, making the initial stop for Seton Hill was Wyatt Schussler. Oberdick. Oberdick and Holloway here on the near side. It's going to be a handoff up the middle to Young. They burned Seton Hill with that on a third down before, but they're not going to burn it on this one. And Cruz going to hand it off on that right side. It's going to be McGriff trying to get to the outside, but he's going to lose some yardage on this one. I'll bring up second down. And that's the tight end, Thomas. Here's the handoff on the left side to McGriff. He's able to get him out of the shadow of their own goalpost. And head coach Zach Bruni is going to burn another timeout. Clock at 5, game clock at 40 seconds. Three-step drop by Davis. A lot of pressure coming. Throws it into no man's land, and it will be thrown out of bounds. Intended. Goes in motion. That's going to be Young. Here's the handoff to Fullerton. It was botched on the exchange, and Seton Hill is going to recover it. It was a quarterback option there. He put it in the hands of Fullerton. Davis tried to pull it back out and then unvers over to the far side. Cruz, quick drop. He's looking for Bales down the sideline in and out of his hands. Pass falls incomplete, but Bales able to beat his man off the line. We're going to have a flag on the play. See if Dalton's going to come in on this one too. It's going to be a run to the left side to Craggett, and he is going to be gobbled up 
by the red jerseys on defense here. His third down and 15 play. Cruz on the fake handoff. Has to roll out to his left. He's going to slide down at about the 30-yard line. So call it about a loss of 10 on the play. And that will bring up a fourth down for Here's the snap. The kick is a line drive, and it is going to be no good off to the left. So what a huge victory there for this Cardinals defense. The sidecar off to the right of Davis. Another three-step drop. Davis has a man open, but the pressure's coming. Breaks the pocket. Looking downfield, he has Mitchell open, and he can't make the circus catch as it was just in and out of his hands. Over to the right side. Cardinals stay put. Dare on the carry, and he's going to be hit in the backfield. Leading the charge there for the Cardinals. So Dalton Hoover moves over to the left here. He's going to take the handoff on the right side, but the blitzing linebacker getting right to Fullerton, and that was Musa Tama, the senior out of Woodbridge, Virginia, making the stop there for a loss out of Maryland. Mitchell goes in motion. Davis. Back to pass, looking, gets a nice block. Davis looking downfield, has a man open. It's young, or check that, it's Winder. And his pass is complete. Jeff, great patience there by Davis to be able to find Winder open. He had to come from all the way over on the other side of the field. McCormick, though, showing blitz on the outside. Davis back to pass, and unfortunately, Winder was held up on the play, but it's going to be a def either a defensive holding or pass interference on that one. Felton. Here on the near side, he's going to go out on a passing route. Davis has to roll out to his left. Davis with a lot of room. He's going to run toward the sideline. Like I said, Javon is not going to go down. He's going to lower that shoulder inside the 25-yard line. He's young going to move to the left. Davis, three-step drop, run, stepping up, looking downfield. Has a man open. We have multiple flags on the play. The pass was incomplete. So there was a flag before the ball was released. And then we had flag in the vicinity of pass interference. Man goes in motion. That's going to be Drummer. Pop pass to Drummer. It's going to be a reverse to the left side to Stevie Mitchell. He has the corner. Mitchell toward the end zone. And he will be stopped just shy. But what a play call there by Zach Bruni on that double reverse. So here's the snap. It's going to be a handoff to Young. He's going to be hit hard. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Wheeling. So Eli Young finds the end zone for the first time this season. These St. Clairsville guys, especially a guy like Colin Oberdick. Cruz taking a shot across the middle, and this time he hits last year's leading receiver in Bales. His first catch of the night, and he'll have a Seton Hill first down to the 28-yard line. But this is something that I expected of the Cardinals. Cruz with an empty set here. Ball popped out of Cruz's hands. It's still a scrub down there for the ball. Not sure if Seton Hill jumped back on top of it there. Cruz lost it. And it looks like the Cardinals have the football, and they do! Wheeling catches another big break there, and coming up with that one is Rashard Jackson, who is lean. Seton Hill going to back off on the coverage here. Davis looking across the middle. Pass is complete to Winder. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals. What a ball there by Davis. Standing in the pocket, taking the pressure, and just firing it down the middle of the field there. Great touch on the ball. Lima on the kick. It's going to be a line drive off to the left side. And, oh, my goodness, it rolls back into the end zone. they got to bring it out here. The ball landed in front of the goal line, and they're going to be brought down inside the five. Originally, they were looking that Lima's kick was probably going to roll out of bounds, and it rolled back into the end zone. Yeah, you got to pick that one up. Wow. <laughs> What a weapon he has become on the kickoff. Tight end goes in motion here for Seton Hill. Craggett on the misdirection out to the right side. And he breaks a few tackles. Is still on his feet is Kyron Craggett. We thought he was brought down in the end zone, but he's going to be forced out of bounds. Flag on the play. Looks like we're going to have a face mask and then some. So Craggett, we thought, was stopped in the end zone, but running back off to the left of Cruz. We're going to have a flag on the play, so it's a free play. 
as Cruz looks across the middle. And this is near side for Seton Hill. Cardinals going to bring the four-man rush, but coming across the middle there was Craggett, who was wide open, and he will have the first down inside the 15-yard line for Seton Hill. But a great job there by the Griffins because the Cardinals were here to the near side in one-on-one coverage. Cruz going to hit it off to Craggett, who's going to be greeted in the backfield by the outside linebacker Keenan Johnson, knocking him all the way back. Three receivers to each side. Cruz dropping back to pass. Looking across the middle. Passes complete to Bales. And he will be brought down just shy of the goal line. Here's the snap. Here's the handoff to Craggett. Going up the middle. Ball popped out at the end. But it will be picked up for a touchdown. And Seton Hill's on the board early here in the fourth quarter. 21-16 with the extra point pending. Far side, Mitchell. Goes in motion. It's going to be a low snap. The exchange with Fullerton was late. And he is going to be brought down in the backfield for a loss of two. And now bring up second down and 12 now for Wheeling. So just a low snap. Just everything on that play. Heads over on that far side showing corner blitz. Davis back to pass. Has to roll out to his left. Javon throwing across his body. Finds a man open here on the near side. That's going to be Ford. And he will have the Cardinals first down. What was most impressive about Davis on that one. He looked like he was going to tuck it and run. And was like, nah, my guy has this downfield. Throws across his body. A complete sidearm throw for that first down play. For the Cardinals, here's the handoff to Young on the right side, running a little bit too east and west for my comfort, but then he turns it up to the north here, or to the south rather, and that'll bring up a first down for the quarterback, Davis. Young on the right side, Davis rolling out to his left, keeps the ball, Davis has a lot of room, and this time he will slide down, and we get the flag, so Javon Davis, Davis with one of the smartest sl- Davis. Hand off to Eli Young on the right side. If he can get the edge, he has a lot of room. He has the first down and then some right near the 10-yard line. What a run there by Eli Young to the weak side as they overstack the left side. And Young just had plenty of room on that right side for that run. Now Felton, the tight end, is going to join him. Davis, three-step drop. It's a screen across the middle to Winder. And he will have the first down as he was brought down at the 2 Wow, what a play there to Winder on that screen. They were confident that if he got the ball in his hands, that he was going to be able to cut toward the middle and get that for Cardinals. They're going to have to hurry up on this one. Davis going to hand it off to Eli Young. Makes a man miss, diving toward the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Cardinals. Eli Young, his second touchdown of the half, and the Cardinals wheeling. My goodness, that just feels good hearing that come out. And it will be a return here by Morris, his second return of the night. We had a block in the back there that wasn't called. Morris is still on his feet, and he's going to be brought down at the 42-yard line, but a definite missed call on a clip back there on the 20-yard line. And that's going to set Seton Hill up in pretty decent field position. Yeah, Hoover had him dead to right. Seton Hill, Cardinal showing blitz. Here it comes. Cruz on the keeper play, and he is going to have the first down to the 47-yard line. Perry came flying. Probably going to try to take a shot to Bales. Cardinal's going to rush four on this. Here comes the pressure, and Cruz is going to be hit, and he's going to be sacked all the way back at the 35-yard line, and the Cardinals force a turnover on downs. So Chapman, though, Eli Young. Here's the handoff to Fullerton. Not able to get anywhere on this one as he's going to be stood up at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss of a half yard on the play brings up a second down and a long 10 here for the Cardinals. So sends Mitchell in motion. It's going to be a handoff. Stevie goes to the outside. Stevie tiptoes the sideline. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals. Stevie Mitchell. Puts another one on the board for Wheeling. And now they lead 34-17. Extra point pending from Joao Lima. Great run there by Stevie Mitchell. Catching the outside. Here's a snap to Cruz. He's going to have a three-step drop. Hits Dare out of the backfield. Taking off. We also had a flag coming all the way in from the side. 
Moves over to the left side. Three-step drop here for Cruz. Let's go. The ball across the middle. Pass is complete here to the backup tight end. And it's going to be a Seton Hill touchdown. Getting in for that one was Cody Rubrek. True freshman out of Greensburg. Gets into the end zone. This is now a one-possession game. Or check that. Still a two-possession game. 3-12 to go in this one. Man goes in motion. It's going to be Mason. Back to pass. Pass is intercepted on the play and diving toward the end zone was Alex Hill. Alex Hill. But he is going to. Lutz with the handoff to Watkins. He is going to be drilled down on the play. Loss of two on the play, and it'll bring him back to the third or to the three yard line. Excuse me. So play clock is at 30, game clock is at exactly one minute here. 